Welcome to LAT News, coming to you live from the North Pole. Well, it's been an unusual year, but we have been granted exclusive access tonight on Christmas Eve to Mother Christmas's control center where she is hard at work. We are about to meet the hidden savior, the mastermind behind the success and brand of Christmas. Hi. Oh, hello you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> The film crew are here and ready to get a sneak glimpse of what it's like to be in the nerve center on this magical night. And we get to meet the woman who makes it all possible. Follow me. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Mother Christmas's role is crucial to ensure that every child's stocking is filled with their preferred gifts. On time. And how do you make sure that happens? Well, it's a year-round job, really, that begins the day after Boxing Day, when the very first letters start to arrive for the following year. Uh, that must be a huge responsibility. Well, it is. And it's my job to project manage everything. Look here, I'll show you. <laughs> It's a complex operation that has developed over time and is now, as you can see, very high tech. <laughs> Although I do still like to do some things the old fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are the rumours true that Father Christmas doesn't need his reindeer to pull the sleigh anymore? Oh, the boys couldn't be happier. Oh, they're having a lovely time living outside, posing for photographs. You see, the technology just kept advancing and well, the reindeer started to slow things down, but we have kept the sound of the hooves in the engine, just in case anyone's listening out on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> but Rudolph, what about Rudolph? Oh, don't worry about Rudolph. He has been reassigned to light the path for the pixies because his nose is so bright. He's enjoying the rest, quite honestly. <laughs> and what about the others? What about all the carrots and treats the children leave out for them? <laughs> oh, don't worry about those. We collect those up and bring them back. The reindeer always look forward to eating them. Oh, look, I'll show you them. See, here they are. Happy as Larry. You. And who's this? Ah, that's Pixie. <laughs> She's my trusted sidekick. She's super helpful and enthusiastic, if a little scatty at times. <laughs> <laughs> she looks cheeky. Well, she has become a bit big for her boots recently. She always wants to be where the action is, and she thinks that that's on the sleigh with Father Christmas. Ah, Father Christmas, the boss. <laughs> He's got the easy job. It's me who plots the routes, puts together the schedule, carries out the present inventory, triple checks the names against the presents, and manages air traffic control on the big night. Ah, so uh, what does Pixie do? Well, I need Pixie here with me in the control centre to help me navigate and to monitor Father Christmas and his progress. Here, let me introduce you to her. Pixie! Pixie? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Pixie! Pixie! Uh, <laughs> oh. See, excuse me, please. Uh, now then. Uh, no. Uh, no. Um, no. This is very strange. I, I can't see her anywhere, and I can see every corner of the earth. This is very odd. Uh, <laughs> and a little embarrassing. Um, excuse me one moment. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Where are we? Uh, no. Right. Yo! Ho, 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 ho! <laughs> Oh, hello, dear. You're a bit early. I wasn't expecting a call from you so soon. It's nothing urgent, dear. It's just that I can't locate Pixie anywhere. Did you see her before you left? I, I know that she's been bothering you recently. Oh, no, dear. I haven't seen Pixie since last night. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you cheeky... What? Oh. What? Look! Oh dear, that doesn't 
sound good? I need to turn on my surveillance camera. Oh dear. Help! Chief! Izzy! Save me! Oh, Mixie! Oh no! Go left! No, no, right! No, pull up! Pull up! Oh no, not again! Oh. Pixie! Pixie! Can you hear me? Oh. 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 I'm so sorry about this. Pixie? Are you okay? Slow down! Yes, no, it was really. I know, but. Calm down. Yes, I know the view is lovely up there, but. Yes, okay, I'll show everyone. Oh, it's so Yes, no, I know it's ever so beautiful up there on Christmas Eve, but. Pixie, the children are waiting! Over here at Control Center, things aren't going quite to plan. This is just one of the many situations Mother Christmas will have to deal with tonight. We're being interviewed by the LAT News. Now, try to concentrate. There's a good pixie. Right, now then. Pick up that over there. Huh? Not that one. Oh, that one? Yes, that one. Oh. Now pick up that one. Oh, there. Yeah. Good. Huh. Right, now take a deep breath. <sighs> pick up everything that you just dropped. Uh-oh. Right. Let's get this show back on the road. OK, fighting talk here from Mother Christmas in the North Pole and Pixie out there in the snow lying solo. Uh, Mother Christmas, will you talk us through what you're doing? Yes, I'm trying to remotely take control of the sleigh. Oh, it's hopeless. Unfortunately, we're going to have to rely on Pixie to mend it. Right, Pixie, try the start button. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, now then, we need to get the navigation running. So, um, press the button marked N. The one, one. Yes, that one. Oh, it's the mother, mother. Yes, no. It's the mother, mother. Yes, I can see that it's broken. Oh, dear. Well, there's only one thing for it. We're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, using a map and compass. Ah. Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> uh, uh, what's she saying? Well... She's a little bit nervous because she's never driven alone before. Oh, no, this is disastrous. No, no, no. We'll just give her a crash course in driving. <laughs> For viewers at home, the atmosphere here could not be more tense. Mother Christmas is trying to teach Pixie how to drive the sleigh, but will she be able to get back to Father Christmas? <laughs> oh, she's up. The sleigh is in the air. I repeat, the sleigh is in the air. Oh, phew. Oh, that's it. Oh, she's making great speed now. Back to where we lost Father Christmas a few moments ago. Oh, I only hope we can get the night back on track. What an exciting development. I understand this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Oh, no, actually there have been one or two other occasions when something has gone wrong. Oh, I, I believe we have some footage to show the viewers at home. Oh. <laughs> oh, silly old fool. He can't even see the end of his own nose without them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, he woke up the whole house. Did he not have his glasses on then either? No, he did actually. He's just got ever such big feet. <laughs> no, luckily, I could see everyone in the family and I was able to guide him out of the house without anyone knowing. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. <laughs> oh, that's not the half of it. Then there was the time when Rudolph went missing. No, what did you do? Well, this will make you laugh. So I had to teach Father Christmas Rudolph's special mountain lullaby to <laughs> coax him back into his harness. <laughs> and... <laughs> He's tone deaf! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's another very, very funny one. Honestly, so we were uh, I think she's landed. Oh, oh let's get a move on then. Oh, come on now, Pixie. I expect better of you than this. We've got a job to do. Honestly, sometimes I really do despair. Pixie, do I have to spell everything out for you? You need to pull Father Christmas out of the snow. 
grab his boot. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. There we are. She's got it now. Hey. Oh. It seems once again, Mother Christmas has got her work cut out tonight. Oh, she's just too small. Oh, hang on. Where are those letters? Oh, bingo! Yes. See? Vanilla Pickett asked for a climbing kit. Ah, so Pixie can pull Father Christmas out. Exactly! But which one is hers? They're scattered all over the place. Pixie, you're looking for serial number 356-790-GHTYCXZ. Now, remember, don't damage any of those presents. Promise me. Three? Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope. This is beyond exciting. Pixie is following Mother Christmas's instructions. She's found Fenella's gift, unwrapped it, and now she's using the rope and crampons to pull Father Christmas out. Yes, Pixie, yes! <laughs> thank you, Mother Christmas. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Fenella Pickett. She's the one that asked for the climbing <laughs> kit. I mean, there's only so much I can do. I'm not a magician. <laughs> oh, look, and now they're back on the sleigh and ready to go. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Pixie. I forgive you. Just remember to tell me you're on the sleigh next time. <laughs> yes, of course there'll be a next time. You did very well to come back and rescue me tonight. <laughs> I suppose your driving wasn't too bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm driving now. Yo ho ho! Here we jolly well go! Stop! Oh, ho ho ho! Oh. What now, dear? Were well, you seriously going to leave with the presents still scattered all over the snow? Ooh. Uh oh! Ho 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 ho! That was a close call. Father Christmas and Pixie are currently running around at breakneck speed, putting all of the presents back onto the sleigh. Uh, in the correct order, if you please. Is that important, then? Yes, it is very important. The presents have to be in the right order so that delivery can run on schedule and they can give the rest of the presents to the sleeping boys and girls. But we've already lost 20 minutes. Time is tight and they're going to have to get a move on if we're going to save Christmas. So what's next? Well, as long as they deliver the presents in the order that I've given them, then everything should run smoothly. This is a precise science, and every second counts. Shall we see how they're getting on? Oh, yes, we jolly well should. I don't know how you do it. The pressure must be immense. Oh, oh. Well, it is. I do allow for a few extra minutes of contingency, just in case. I've been doing this for a long time now, and I know how important it is to be fully prepared for any eventuality. Although, obviously, I wasn't bargaining on a rogue pixie tonight. <laughs> I'll certainly be having some stern words with her when she gets back to the North Pole. No, oh, you won't be too cross with her, though, will you? Oh, no. I think she's sorry enough already. I'll be kind to her. I mean, after all, she helped get us out of this mess. Although, obviously, it wouldn't have happened at all in the first place if she'd just done what she was told and stayed put. Oh, I only hope there aren't any more disasters tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
Our time filming this Christmas special with the wonderful Mother Christmas is coming to an end. The film crew and I have had a magical time, but we really must leave her to get on with her work now. Clearly, she needs all of her focus and concentration to make sure that every present is delivered on time, ready for Christmas morning. Well, I can put my feet up for a few extra minutes now, but don't worry, I will be keeping a beady eye on Father Christmas and that... Oh, that naughty little pixie. <laughs> <laughs> well, viewers, you've had the rare privilege of a glimpse into the inner workings of Christmas Eve. In 24 hours, it will all begin again as letters start arriving from children all over the world. But never forget, it was Mother Christmas who saved the day. And I wonder, are there any final messages for all the children watching tonight, Mother Christmas? Well, there is one very important message. Merry Christmas, one and all. <laughs>